Hello! Wednesday, March 21st. This is my mess. This is my world right now. They say that uh, genius is messy. If that's the case, I'm the smartest man alive. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is an exercise to test that the, uh, the message passing between the Zigbee modules is working. Um, we will start by running a, a console app that will randomly uh, assign damage to each of the robots. Um, once we do that, we'll fire up the application. And the first thing that happen is that uh, the application will talk to EarthSat. This is EarthSat. And EarthSat will then um, pass around the mutex one time. And the mutex is just, uh, you can only transmit if you have the mutex. So just passing it around one time tells us that everybody that's supposed to be in the system is in the system. Um, then he will ask Marsat, and this is Marsat, if he is there. And Marsat will reply with, yes I am, back to Earthsat. Then Marsat will query the robots one at a time and determine what their damage is. Once he has decided what everybody's damage is, he then will send that damage report back to Earthsat, which we will see displayed on a GUI in the program, and then um, the mutex just gets passed around and around and around and wait for somebody to have uh, something interesting to send, such as I found a ball or I'm at this intersection. So let's fire it up and go. So we ran the randomizer. Well, you notice that Seeker 1 will have no movement, Seeker 2 will have no satellite comm, Reader 1 will be okay, but Reader 2 will have no local comm. We'll fire up. GUI, and we say start, uh, wait for messages, bam, and if we look at the messages, they match up, seeker 1 can't move, seeker 2 has no satellite comm, reader 2, reader 1 is okay, and reader 2 has no local comm, and you'll notice that their icons have changed to reflect their damage, and what we see, lastly, is the mutex being passed around, which is indicated by the little blinky lights. As soon as the robot has a mutex, he lights the light up, and when he passes it, he turns it off. 